Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome back once again to The Correct Views. You see the shirt? Yep. I am still trying to contact YouTube. All 156 videos are gone. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to my video response. I'm going to post it as a video response to my own video. Um, I'm asking you to remix it. I'm asking you to contact YouTube. It'll all become crystal clear. The other thing is that this camera is too nice for the video software that I have, uh, video editing software. As a result of that, I don't have a way to edit the videos. So you notice there was no theme music and graphics. There are no graphics. Um, hmm, I would never pirate. Arg! So until I um, buy the software that I need, this is going to have to do. For those of you that don't know, believe it or not, there's no videos up. There's no graphics. This show's been around for a year and a half and had almost 13,000 views. Isn't life grand? Alright guys, I gotta get moving. I can only talk for 15 minutes because YouTube won't give me my videos back. Um, I'm sure they will. It's just slower than hell. Um, Paul Joseph Watson, Infowars.com. Ex-military leaders call junk food a national security threat. Now listen to me. I know people that eat terrible. And I try to warn them all the time. Uh, I, I'm talking about uh, dinner is uh, chicken strips and like hash browns. Drinks are Pepsi. Maybe a yoo is nutrition. Um, people that eat awful things. You know what? It might not be the wisest move. But it is not a national security threat. And it is none of the government's damn business. And many of you will know it's also none of the government's damn business if some idiot wants to walk around with a needle hanging out of their arm. It's not up to the government. In a move that will undoubtedly annoy those who feel that the Obama administration has become smothering in its nanny state, efforts to control people's diets, excuse me, ex-military leaders have been enlisted to declare war on junk food by declaring it a national security threat. With one in four military age males in the United States deemed too fat to join the army, retired generals and admirals are coming together under the banner of mission readiness. A, quote, nonpartisan national security organization run by the Council for a Strong America. If you want a Council for a Strong America, then why don't you make Monsanto illegal? And I'll get to that in a moment. Just remember that I said that. I'll be getting there. The other question is, I don't have anybody else asking this, children have had the cops called on them because their parents let them play outside. Remember, I, I, did a, I did a view on that. Don't try to look it up. You can't. But I did. And um, the children are getting arrested for playing outside because people are saying it's strange or it's unusual to allow kids to play outside. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. Well, they're not supposed to go outside and play or get any exercise because they might get kidnapped or raped or, you know, I'm not saying these kinds of things don't happen to children. I'm saying they need to have a childhood. We cannot let the terrorists win, or we can't let the rapists win either. Um, the pedophile scum will always be there. Um, according to the Bible, they always have. Um, it's a plague of man, what are you going to say? You can't stay in your house all day. But according to the government, children, this is the correct view. You are to sit in your homes. You are not to play video games because it will rot your mind. They're bad for you. You're not to listen to music videos because they are satanic and evil. You are not supposed to watch TV because Americans are watching too much TV. You are to stay home. You are supposed to sit in a chair, stare at a wall, and eat a plate of carrots. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, calling childhood obesity a threat to national security, retired U.S. Air Force General Richard B. Myers, who served as chairman of Joint Chiefs of Staff from 01 to 05, will join other retired generals and admirals who are members of the National Security Organization Mission Readiness in issuing a new report on improving the quality of food served in schools. Yeah, well how about this? As the North Carolina Journal reported, it says, 
Earlier this year, a preschooler at West Hoke Elementary ate three chicken nuggets for lunch on January 30th because a state employee told her lunch yeah, told her that the lunch that her mother packed was not nutritious. Why are we seeing a mass exodus to homeschooling? Why are people like me saying if you get into WIC, women, infants, children, you're crazy? Because they're giving you these things for a reason. CPS, Child Protective Services, will come if you do not have your kid staring at a wall with a plate of carrots in his lap, no entertainment, no video games. That's how good parenting is done in America. Meanwhile, Obama and his fat-ass wife eat whatever they want. Um, yes, I said it. Last thing I'm going to get to because I have no time anymore. New GMO study. Rats fed lifetime of GM corn grow tumors. 70% of females die early. This is where I wish that I was able to process the new high-def camera. Because if I could, I would show the pictures of these rats. Go to Mike Adams, naturalnews.com. This is awful. I mean, these are not like, the, the tumor is almost as big as the rat. And here are the stats. Eating genetically modified corn, GM corn, and consuming trace amounts of Monsanto's Roundup, which is in it, chemical fertilizer caused rats to develop horrifying tumors, widespread organ damage, and premature death. That's the conclusion of a shocking new study that looked at the long-term effects of consuming Monsanto's genetically modified corn. It reported scientists have found that rats exposed to even the smallest amounts developed mammary tumors, uh, that would be breasts for you Usher fans, and severe liver and kidney damage as early as four months in males and seven months in females. Now, this is a study of what it does on a lifespan, the lifespan of the rat, which is a mammal. So what it does to it in several months, it does to us in several years. Monsanto is putting, when you eat Doritos, when you eat your breakfast cereal, whatever it is that you're eating, whatever it is you, that has corn in it, and if, if you think you don't eat much corn, you're an idiot. Corn is in everything. I think it's like 75, 90% of the corn in this country has Monsanto GM ingredients in it. So the only way, you I mean, go to farmer's, farmer's market or whatever, that's great if you don't live in the land of ice and snow like I do in the cesspool of Ohio. If you live here, you, you have a chance to buy corn off the stand a month out of the year. Um, the study led by Gillis Eric Saralini of the University of Cannes was the first ever study to examine the long-term lifetime effects of eating GMOs, genetically modified organisms. You may find yourself thinking it is absolutely astonishing that no such study has been done, done before, but of course it says that is corporate greed. I'm going to zip through this real quick so that I don't run out of time. Um, findings of the study. Here are some shocking findings. Up to 50% of males and 70% of females suffered premature death. Rats that drank trace amounts of Roundup at, legal, at levels legally allowed in the water supply had up to 200 to 300% increase in large tumors. Rats fed GM corn and traces of Roundup suffered severe organ damage, including liver damage and kidney damage. There's somebody in my family having trouble with their liver and their gallbladder. And you know what? They don't, they, when, I, when I mention stuff like this, they call me crazy. I don't know. The study fed rats NK603, the Monsanto variety of GM corn that's grown across North America, and widely fed to animals and humans. This is the same corn that's in your corn-based breakfast cereal, corn tortillas, and snack chips. Now, it is not the government's role to censor what we eat. It is our job to run Monsanto out of our damn food supply. You are listening to The Correct Views, and I hope you have a cheeseburger in one hand. Good night, God bless.